Hi everyone, I'm Vinnie Close, Assistant Council Commissioner for Roundtable Planning and Support for Great Trail Council. Today, we're going to cover the new Cub Scout program updates for the 2024-25 program year, beginning on June 1st. Let's get started. I don't have to remind anyone in this room about the importance of the Cub Scout program. This is where we ignite that spark of Scout spirit, and we nurture it and help it grow through amazing experiences and adventures. Almost all the Scouts BSA youth in our program were Cub Scouts first. So why? Why do we need to update our Cub Scout program? Because of this disheartening but very important number. Why is this number relevant? Because on average, we only have Cub Scouts for 1.6 years. So how did we get here? In 2019, the National Cub Scout Committee began reviewing the current Cub Scout program to identify opportunities for improvement. Data from over three years of Cub Scout recognition sales were compiled. Over 23,000 Cub Scout leaders and parents provided feedback through various surveys, including a survey that was sent to every registered den leader. All surveys had a confidence level of at least 95%, making the data reliable. All of this data revealed four areas of improvement and opportunities to develop and update our Cub Scout program. The first was Bobcat. Leaders felt that it was ineffective having the same requirements for everyone first through fifth grade. The purpose of the Bobcat is important to introduce Cub Scouts to the values of scouting, but how that taught needed to be age appropriate. Additionally, den leaders felt challenged with how to handle it when some of their den had already earned Bobcat while others had not. Next was Cub Scout Adventures. Leaders indicated that they found many of the adventures disjointed. They felt it was not clear why certain adventures were required while others were elective, and leaders wanted more options for elective adventures. Next, the Weeblos rank. Overall, the Weeblos program caused a lot of confusion. It doesn't follow the same grade level specific pattern as the other ranks, and Weeblos was designed to prepare Cub Scouts for Scouts BSA. But does it take 18 months? Is the program effective? Finally, awards. As the committee was researching, a fourth topic was brought to their attention, Cub Scout awards. Leaders indicated they didn't focus on awards. The awards, as well as information on earning them, was not in the direct line of sight of a den leader. Additionally, it was discovered that the existence of the award did not drive behavior to explore the topics of these awards. This tells us two important things. Den leaders knew about the awards that were already planning STEM activities, service and conservation products, and outdoor activities. Therefore, the awards weren't incentivizing them to plan those activities. They were just a bonus. And den leaders that didn't know about the awards indicated that even if they had known about them, they still wouldn't have incorporated them into their planned activities. On average, only 1.5% of Cub Scouts earned an award. The objective of all this research was to ensure that Cub Scouting is fun, simple, and easy. The program must be fun, not only for Cub Scouts, but for leaders and parents too. The program must be simple to understand and explain to all families. This also makes it easier to support. And the program needs to be easy to deliver as designed. So, let's dive in and talk about Bobcat. Bobcat is no longer a rank. Bobcat is now designed to be the first required adventure for each rank, Lion through Arrow of Light. Bobcat is earned each year for each rank. The Bobcat adventure focuses on character and leadership. With each rank, additional age-appropriate requirements are added. Now let's talk about the other updated adventures. To ensure we keep things simple, each of the six ranks are earned by completing six required adventures, and two elective adventures. The six required adventures are focused on the aims and focus areas of scouting. The four aims of the BSA are character, leadership, personal fitness, and citizenship. The focus areas of the BSA include the outdoors, personal safety, family, and reverence. The two elective adventures can be selected from a wide variety of engaging and age-appropriate activities. These elective adventures include existing adventures that have been updated and reimagined, as well as brand new adventures. Lions and Arrow of Light Scouts have 16 elective options. 
Tigers, wolves, bears, and weeblos have 20 elective options. All scouts must complete two elective adventures to earn their rank. These core program updates will ensure that it is simple to describe what Cub Scouting is to new families. In Cub Scouting, each grade level has a specific badge of rank they are working towards. To earn that badge of rank, a Cub Scout must complete the six required adventures that are based on the values of scouting and two additional adventures of their choosing. All of us have seen these pictures used in promotional recruitment materials like Join Scouting School Flyers. They show our youth and their families some of the exciting activities that await them on their Cub Scout adventure. But did you know that in our current Cub Scout program, the Tiger rank is the only one with a biking adventure? Or that bears were the only ones with a fishing adventure? And the Pinewood Derby, one of the most iconic Cub Scout activities, was nowhere to be found in the adventures of any rank. So with these Cub Scout program updates, we're adding in more fun. Camping, fishing, cycling, and swimming adventures for all ranks. Not only do we help our packs and dens by making it easy to plan an awesome activity with advancement opportunities for all ranks, but we are helping to ensure our packs and dens are delivering on the promises that we made on that flyer, the promise of scouting. Race time. Whether it is the classic and iconic Pinewood Derby or the warm weather favorite of Rain Gutter Regatta, scouts can now earn an elective adventure when they participate with their pack in these activities. These adventures are awesome for smaller packs and multi-rank dens, allowing all scouts to have fun and earn advancements. And we understand how vital STEM education is in society today, which is why there are now elective adventures in all four branches of STEM for each rank. It is also important to offer exciting, age-appropriate challenges for our older cubs. This gives the younger ranks something to work towards and look forward to, and it also keeps our older Cub Scouts engaged by offering them new opportunities. While all ranks have a swimming elective adventure, only the Bear, Weeblos, and Arrow of Light ranks have a boating or paddle sports elective adventure. The BSA is committed to safety. Safety is a value that must be taught and reinforced at every opportunity. The Knife Safety elective adventures do just that. We're going from a one-and-done whittling chip to a multi-year progressive training. Knife safety skills are taught, developed, reinforced, and practiced for each of our three older cub ranks. Now, let's talk about our fourth and fifth grade scouts. Going forward, there will be a clear division between the fourth grade Weeblos and the fifth grade Arrow of Light scouts. These two ranks now have separate handbooks and with that, separate required and elective adventures. Weeblos is now a full year of Cub Scout awesomeness. The Arrow of Light rank is entirely focused on preparing our fifth grade Cubs to join a Scout's BSA troop. Goodbye Cub Scout blue uniform, hello tan Scout shirt. No more Cub Scout sign. We are making sure they will be prepared to join a troop. These updates cause an important change in the timeline and our troops need to be aware. The Bobcat Adventure is the first required adventure our Arrow of Light dens should work on in the fall. Bobcat for Arrow of Lights introduces them to the patrol method and requires them to visit a scout's BSA troop. Because Bobcat should be the first adventure AOL dens complete, troops should be prepared to welcome visits from dens in August and September instead of later in the fall. Additionally, Arrow of Light Scouts should be joining a troop by January or February. This allows them to be included in the troop's plans for summer camp, which is key to retaining our scouts. Please help make troop leadership aware of how these updates affect the crossover timeline. So now, let's talk about awards. Like everything else regarding the Cub Scout program updates, decisions regarding Cub Scout awards were viewed through the lens of the data. And what was the data telling us? Like we said before, only 1.5% of Cub Scouts were earning awards, while elective adventures have an attachment rate between 15 and 25%. So, the awards have been reimagined as adventures. Conservation is an integral part of scouting, so who better to partner with than the World Organization for the Scouting Movement and Earth Tribe? We are proud to introduce the new elective adventure, Champions for Nature. 
This elective adventure for all ranks is taking the place of the World Conservation Award, also known as the Panda Patch. By incorporating conservation as an elective adventure at each rank, we are highlighting its importance and doubling down on engaging our scouts in the outdoors. Likewise, the National Summertime Pack Award has been reviewed and updated and is now the Summertime Fun Award. This helps us ensure that all Cub Scouts have the opportunity to earn this elective adventure, regardless of den or pack participation. Please note, Lions do not join Cub Scouts until the beginning of their kindergarten year. Therefore, Lions do not participate in summertime activities, which is why there is no Lion Summertime Fun Adventure. As you have seen, we have completely updated the Cub Scout program. But having a great program is irrelevant if we don't also improve how we deliver that program to our Cub Scouts, their families, and our leaders. Look at these beautiful handbooks. All handbooks will have the grade level on the cover and a place for Cub Scouts to put their name. The Lion Handbook is a larger format and has activity pages, allowing our kindergartners to utilize their handbooks in an age-appropriate manner. The Lion Handbook will grow from 23 pages to 64 pages and will come with an adult partner guide instead of a den leader guide to encourage parent engagement. The updated Tiger Handbook will be taking a page, so to speak, from the success of the Lion Handbook. It will be changing to the larger format. Its pages will be more engaging and age appropriate for first graders. And since a Tiger Adult Partner is required to attend with their scout, a parent guide will now come with the Tiger Handbook to help engage parents and encourage participation, and hopefully cultivate more volunteers and leaders. Both the Lion and Tiger Adult Partner Guides has content to help adult partners understand the Cub Scout program and the part that they play as adult partner. We are moving away from complicated and confusing requirements. Remember, fun for our Cubs and their families, simple to explain, and easy to deliver as designed. So, we go from this to this, a fun activity. Simple and straightforward requirements and outcomes, and easy to deliver as designed with a QR code right here linking you to additional resources that can be updated online as needed. Speaking of online resources, we are making sure our DEN leaders have all the support they need to deliver our exceptional program. DEN leader resources will be on scouting.org, and the DEN leader experience will be retired. On scouting.org, simply choose your rank. Each badge of rank will have its own landing page. This will make it easy to access in the future with a bookmark or QR code. Start with Bobcat, then move on to your other five required adventures, or jump into an elective adventure. Once you choose your adventure, everything you need is right at your fingertips. A snapshot of the adventure, a safety moment, requirements, and resources. Activity cards will be an amazing resource for your busy den leaders. At a glance, you can pick the activity that suits your needs, ability, resources, time, and let's be honest, patience. The first icon indicates if the activity is indoor or outdoor or if travel is required. The second icon indicates how active Cub Scouts will be on a scale of 1 to 5. 1 indicates that the Cub Scouts will be listening and a five indicates they will be very active, such as playing kickball. The third icon indicates how intensive the supply list is on a scale of one to five. One indicates there are no supplies needed, and a five indicates there are unique or major supplies needed. The fourth icon indicates how long it will take to prepare for this activity on a scale of one to five. One indicates that there is no prep needed, and a five indicates there is something that needs to be done weeks prior to the activity. For example, a trip to the fire station needs to be planned weeks ahead and would be a five. And once you have selected that Goldilocks activity for your DEN meeting, all supplies, directions, and additional resources like how-to videos, photos, and PDF files are all in one place. Each activity will have a page. In total, there will be over 1,300 different activity pages. This will make it easy to bookmark or use a QR code to share with assistant DEN leaders and parents. Looks pretty easy, right? Now this has been an intentionally slow rollout. We didn't want Cub leaders jumping ahead before resources were in place. Right now we're finishing up February, updating council resources. 
March will bring the handbooks and adventure loops and pins to scout shops. May will bring the updated trainings, and the Cub Scout updates officially take effect June 1st. Please remember that Cub Scouts is fun, simple, and easy. And the thing we are asking of all our Cubs, families, and leaders is, do your best. Thank you for all you do in scouting. All of the updated information will be added to this link on our Great Trail Council website at gtcbsa.org. I'm Vinny Close, and I am more than happy to be a resource for you and those you serve during this transition.